Hello, this is Charles Schiller with Gateway Inspections. We're here inspecting this uh, hose bib on this home. And there's a couple things that I'd like to talk to you about hose bibs. And uh, this one is frozen. You can't turn it to uh, let the water, uh, of course, turn the water on. So the valve is froze up. Probably hadn't been used in a while. And uh, the other thing is this little device right here is a backflow de uh, device, backflow anti-siphon device, which uh, should go right here on the on the bottom of your of your faucet. You just screw it on, and then well, this little set screw is is no longer here on this device, but uh, you, you should have a little set screw that sets it into place, and that keeps people from removing it. So uh, backflow back siphonage is one of the important things that can keep you from having little stomach aches or also if you have a hose attach, attachment on the end of a hose uh, that's spraying chemicals, you can backflow back siphonage um, <coughs> uh, chemicals back into your water line and even into your, your well or your water system. So uh, people don't understand backflow back siphonage very well. Uh, it's a very important thing. It does happen uh, when reduced pressures are, are on. Uh, and of course that has to happen when your valve is on uh, for that to happen, but uh, it does happen. Um, it's happened at my house, unfortunately, before I realized what was happening about uh, 25 years ago when I became an inspector and found out the importance of backflow back siphonage. So this is Charles Schiller with Gateway Inspection. We've been protecting home buyers for over 25 years.